What is going on everybody? Need for Beans over here. In this video, I will be showing you the best settings for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 3. With these settings, you'll have absolutely no input lag and even higher FPS. So without further ado, let's get started. So I will show you guys my Fortnite settings first, and then I'll go over the AMD Radiant settings. So for the video, we'll go full screen window mode. If you don't do full screen for some reason, you get input lag. Frame rate limit. You want it to be a, a multiple of your monitor refresh rate. So if your monitor refresh rate is 60 hertz, you want it to be either 60 FPS, 120, 180, or 240. You don't want 160. Uh, you don't want 144. Um, I would suggest 120. And if you, if you if you can't handle 180, I would suggest 120. If you can't handle 240, I would suggest 180. All right. So that's the reason that for that is for something with a new update. Um, the input lag has to do with the monitor not being able to render the right frames, if that makes sense. So if you have 160 frames a second, it's rendering some frames like off. You know, off, off the beat, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but you will kind of feel some sort of input lag which will go away sometimes and come back, right? And it was something they did with the new update, or, or it was either the Fortnite update or the AMD Radeon update. But you want to make sure you get both of them and just get these settings exactly because once I got these settings, oh man, the game felt so much better. So you want 100, um, you. I will be running this at 180 FPS because my monitor is only 60 Hertz refresh rate. <clears throat> okay, the next one is that's also different than from my last settings video is uh, what 3D resolution it should be at 100. If it's anything below that, everything looks really, really bad. View distance, it has to be at epic. If you don't have it at epic, you're at a competitive disadvantage because you can't see far enough. Shadows are your biggest FPS um, or your biggest resource hog, so you want to turn it off. Anti-aliasing, everybody usually turns it off, but for some reason, Epic is actually makes things smoother and takes away the input lag. I think it has something to do with the graphics cards um, having like a built-in anti-aliasing software. I'm not sure, but anti-aliasing does not affect my frame rate so i put it at epic and it made it a lot better textures effects post processing you put it on low v-sync that's your number one enemy for input lag turn it off motion blur you can turn it on if you want but i keep it off fps that's up to you now another big change from last videos is we will be using direct x12 the reason being is the Direct X11 might be slightly better performing, like overall, like. Uh, but when it comes to times where your frames drop, you know, sometimes at, at the end game, randomly your frames will start dropping. Well, Direct X12 is a lot better at handling those drops, so you, it, they won't drop as much or for as long. You, you know, the only maybe downside, which I didn't even see, I got equal frames for both is supposedly direct x12 is slightly worse performance but my theory is that direct x12 is better fitting for amd and direct x11 is better fitting for nvidia all right so we'll be running direct x12 because we are we have no problem rendering the 180 frames we, uh, but we do have a problem with 240 we're hitting right around 230 with these settings so that's how we're going to cap it at 180. um uh, and the other thing is multi-threading rendering. So everybody's going to tell you to turn it on. Multi-thread rendering means it uses multiple threads, uh, the multiple cores of your CPU, right? It, it switches them, uh, turns them to multiple threads, and then your core, different cores of the CPU start rendering with them. Uh, this, they say if you have at least four cores, you should turn it on. I have a four-core i7 with me turning it on for some reason input lag so get, turn it off if you have an um I'll, I'll put my setup in the description if you have a similar setup try these exact settings and you might just uh, have 
zero ping. I actually hit zero ping with these settings. I don't know if that was a setting or something, but man, I've never hit zero ping. I think that's it for um, for this. So let me. I have some unsaved changes. Let me see. I think everything is uh, how it should be. Yeah. So let's go over the Radeon. I don't know why it's uh, not appearing as a window. It did that before, but I guess we'll deal with that. So let's go to. Yep. Tab. A tab. Let's see. I've never done it this way. Okay. Sorry for the technical difficulties. AMD Radeon never likes to work with me when I'm recording. Okay, here we go. So, general, um, you want to do, let, let me go over the settings here. So, instant replay, I have it turned on because I always record clips. If you want a little bit of extra performance boost, turn it off. Um, anything else here? Uh, doesn't really matter. I mean, record desktop is on, but this will only fire when you start recording, so it doesn't affect your in game performance. This is just settings for the driver, so don't worry about this. For the graphics, um, there is this is kind of confusing. There's two options, so you can set some graphics here, and then you can go to game graphics, Fortnite, to in game performance. So in whatever settings you put in the graphics uh, place, they won't be. Um, Fortnite settings will overwrite them. If you have a Fortnite profile right here, these settings will overwrite the default settings. So let me go back to the Fortnite settings here. Let me see. Got. Um, it's always this um, layout is kind of confusing. I mean, either way, both of these settings are set to the same thing, so you can just do that as well. Um, Radeon anti lag, I actually have it on. So let me go here. Uh, gaming, uh, right here. Sorry, go to gaming and go to Fortnite. Okay, so this is the set. These are the settings you want. Graphics profile, it will auto set. Anti lag, you want it on because you know less lag the better, and it actually works pretty well. So it reduces input lag. Yes, you want it on. Radeon chill, that's just saving power. Nope. A image sharpening just makes things look better. Nope. Enhanced sync, uh, V sync. It's like V sync's uncle. The, stay away from it. Vertical vertical refresh is like uh, enhanced sync's child. Uh, definitely turn it off. Anti-aliasing, this one is important. Use application settings, means use those Fortnite settings. Anti-aliasing method, multi-sampling, there's three tiers. This is like low tier, mid tier, high tier. Uh, if you do adaptive or super sampling, it will impact performance. If you can handle it, go for it. I can't, so I'm doing multi-sampling. Morphological, that is, um, does not work with DirectX 12. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't work with DirectX 12 which we're using so no reason to turn that on this one only works with direct x9 so off texture filter quality performance honestly there's not not much of a difference in my opinion so performance here this one is also important surface format optimization um, i'm not too sure what it does but it does uh, make improved performance and since most of the map is water nowadays and then all these textures to load this really really helps Tessellation mode is just making things prettier, so we're gonna overwrite whatever Fortnite is using and turn it turn it off. OpenGL is like VSync's uh, long lost, I don't know, sign or something. Turn it off. It's the same thing as VSync. Just or don't worry about it. It's, it's terrible. So I think that is um, okay. The other two things. Uh, this is my monitor. Uh, AMD FreeSync. So. Provide smooth, responsive gameplay by updating the display as new frames become available. So this is kind of like what was um, interacting with the Fortnite, right? And so if you have 160 FPS and this one, the FreeSync is trying to sync those frames 
to match your display frames, you know, so you don't have input lag. It's just, it wasn't working with the previous settings, but with these settings, it works amazing. So you actually get to use the benefits of free sync. Now your monitor might not be free sync um, compatible, but don't worry, like it's, as long as you have a multiple of your re refresh rate, you'll be fine. Scaling mode, um, yeah, it's center because you don't really, doesn't really, doesn't really matter. I haven't messed with it to be honest with you. Custom color, uh, I have, I usually have it on, but it's really up to you guys. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter. So I think those are all the settings. Let me just make sure. Um and. Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure these are all the settings that I have. So let's go into a creative mode. I don't know why it's in window. It's supposed to be in full screen. And let me show you guys how smooth it is. I mean, this one is recording at 60 FPS, but uh, maybe you guys can just see the quality of the gameplay. And maybe I'll just hit zero ping again. I was uh, messing with this for quite some time, and yeah, there's definitely this input lag that I noticed. And it was very weird. It wasn't like a lag when you press a key or even the mouse key. It was more when you move. And when I figured out that it was the frames not syncing properly with uh, the monitor, that's a big thing you have to keep in mind. So if you like are playing Chapter 2 Season 3 on PC and just it seems off, something is off look at your frames so right now I know I don't know if you guys can tell but this it feels extremely responsive like it feels more responsive than um, more responsive than uh, than last seasons honestly so I'm pretty excited about this and yeah so yeah thank you guys all for watching if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please Leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if this video helped you, please leave a like. And Need for Beans out. Peace.